The MMA community is reeling from the recent and shocking news when they learned that former light heavyweight UFC title challenger Anthony Rumble Johnson had passed away. Fans and sports personalities have been sending in their tributes to the fighter, known for his devastating power, but are having a hard time dealing with the suddenness of it all. Fans have only recently learned the cause of his death, so that's what we're going to get into right now. First up, Anthony Johnson's death, announced on Twitter. Anthony Johnson was just 38 years old when it was announced that he had passed away. It was reporter Ariel Helwani, who was one of the first to break the news to the public. Fans knew that he was battling an illness for some time, but no one had expected things had gotten so bad. So when the news broke on November 13th, fans took to social media to remember him and his legacy. One thing that everyone agreed on was that the MMA fighter was gone too soon. Coming up, details about Johnson's death revealed. Fans have finally been offered some more details regarding his tragic passing. Anthony Johnson's illness had had a negative impact on him, and word from his management indicated that things were getting quite bad. The severity of the condition, which was unknown at the time, was obvious, but earlier this year, Rumble looked like he was making a recovery. It turns out that matters were clearly not getting better because MMA manager Ali Abdelaziz gave a sobering update during an ESPN interview in October. Abdelaziz told fans that Rumble was battling some health concerns and the situation was very sad. He asked fans to pray for him because the fighter was strong but unwell. Now we know that the decorated mixed martial arts fighter died of organ failure that stemmed from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and a rare, life-threatening autoimmune disorder, hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis. Up next, when did we first learn of the illness? Although Johnson's non-Hodgkin lymphoma and HLH were not publicly known, he had withdrawn from a 2021 Bellator fight because of medical issues. The problem persisted over the past year and forced him to speak up. Rumble opened up about the incident and explained his ailment to fans on social media, but he never identified the illness. He posted the announcement online and expressed his wish to explain just how sick he was. Johnson added that he really needed his fans' prayers as well, and if things got better, he'd make his comeback in 2022. He was much more frightened than he could express, and hoped that with the help of his family and friends, he'd be able to deal with his health concerns. Johnson's posts are much sadder in hindsight, but we're praying just like his fans that he's finally at peace. Following up, John Jones pays tribute following his death. When the announcement started making the rounds on social media, numerous fans and athletes paid tribute to Johnson and extended their sympathies to his family. One of the fighters who lamented his passing was John Jones, who had been scheduled to fight Rumble at UFC 187 in 2015. But Bones had been stripped of the light heavyweight title and suspended in relation to a hit-and-run incident a month before the fight. Although they never actually faced off against each other, Johnson had a good relationship with Jones. During the UFC 187 press conference, they even made Dana White laugh by pretending to fight. Jones took to Instagram and posted a video in which he paid tribute to the fighter. In it, he said that he was honored to have known him and spoken with him. The video featured clips from the two playing a practical joke on White. and Jones sending the words Rumble from inside the octagon following his retirement at UFC 210. Jones tweeted, Honored to call you a friend. Rest in peace, King. Moving on, the MMA community pays their respects. It should come as no surprise that the MMA community was shocked and devastated to learn of Anthony Rumble Johnson's passing given the length of time he had competed in the UFC and the sheer number of incredible performances he had in the octagon. This resulted in people quickly paying their respects to this fallen fighter on social media and soon messages were flooding in. Michael Keith Chiesa, an American professional mixed martial artist, tweeted in response to the heartbreaking news. He paid his respects to the fighter and sent out prayers to his family. Plus, he called Rumble one of the most prolific KO artists in UFC history. Alex Behunin sent him his respects as well and hoped Rumble was now resting in peace. Daniel Cormier felt the same and gushed about how Johnson was so caring despite being strong enough to strike fear in his competitors' hearts. He grieved how unfair life seemed to him in these moments, which is a sentiment many of Johnson's fans are feeling. McMally tweeted how the first autograph he'd ever gotten was Johnson's, and his heart was broken to hear that he had died. Anatomy of a Fighter's Will Harris shared a picture of himself and Johnson and posted that he was holding back tears that would eventually flow. Rumble was a superhero to him and many others, which only makes his sudden passing so sad. Coming up, Johnson had expressed his desire to help others. Johnson was unable to compete in the light heavyweight championship because of his health problems, which were announced in September 2021. After that, he had entirely stopped engaging in combat. But way before he announced his retirement, I, sh I should say venture my, my word, 
You know what I mean? Win, lose, or draw, this was going to be my last one. Johnson once voiced his desire to aid cancer patients in 2017 while still in retirement. He desired to open up a marijuana business to help patients out. Rumble was concerned about how these cancer patients were affected by their medication, which made them even more miserable. He had seen patients take more than 10 tablets all at once to treat their symptoms, and none of these medications gave them actual relief from the pain or discomfort. Instead, they continued to feel as bad despite dealing with the side effects of all the drugs. Johnson had hoped to end this suffering. He wanted to do something that would benefit everyone, nor did he care about the money that it would cost to come up with a constructive solution. As long as he could help people in need, he was okay. Up next, let's remember Johnson's most brutal knockouts. In his prime, Johnson's punches were feared by one and all. While he may have never won a title, he did plenty of damage. It's that very prowess that we're here to remember. It was only in 2016 when Anthony Johnson took just a few seconds to defeat Glover Teixeira to become the next UFC champion. Sure, nearly all of Anthony Johnson's UFC knockouts were spectacular to see, but it's his savage knockout of future UFC light heavyweight champion Glover Teixeira that has stood out among all the others. The majority of spectators thought Rumble would get a shot at the title after defeating Ryan Bader. Because Daniel Cormier had a conflict schedule, Johnson was forced to compete once more, this time against Teixeira, who was also on a three-fight winning run. Despite the fight being billed as a contest between two equally strong power punchers, it was clear very quickly that one was much more powerful. Actually, Teixeira had managed to make the first contact and struck Johnson with his left hand. Yet before he could follow it with another hit, Rumble fired a devastating right uppercut at his jaw that ended the match instantly. Johnson followed that with two more hammer fists, but they weren't really necessary because Teixeira was already knocked out. The brief bout, which lasted just 13 seconds, only served to solidify Johnson's status as the UFC's premier power puncher. This knockout is still one of the most terrifying in UFC history six years later, and it should not only be remembered as Johnson's best career victory, but also one of the best KOs ever seen at 205 pounds. Finally, have a look at Johnson's legacy. Johnson had started training in mixed martial arts when he was only 20 years old. In his debut UFC match, Rumble knocked out Chad Reiner in 13 seconds. Seems like he's always had a knack for finishing matches quickly. Of his 23 MMA wins, Johnson had won 17 by knockouts, which only proves once again how much his punches hurt. He defeated many legendary fighters, including Jimmy Manua, Ryan Bader, Antonio Rogerio Nogueira, and ex-UFC light heavyweight champion Glover Teixeira via KO. The winner by knockout, Anthony Rumble. Over the years, his matches won him achievements like Fight of the Night, Performance of the Night, and Knockout of the Night, which is no surprise to any of us. Johnson was a wonderful fighter, but also very reserved according to his best friend and peer, former UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman. He thought of Rumble as a turtle who kept to himself until he decided to stick his head out of his shell and showed the world who he really was. It's why no one knew how bad things had gotten for the brilliant fighter. Still, his legacy is bound to be an inspiration to all fans and athletes who have loved him. That's a wrap for this video. Have you seen any of Anthony Johnson's iconic knockouts? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.